everyone, and welcome back to Digimon World DS once again. Let's see here. What the heck are we doing today, boys? Because I don't remember, as usual. We had to degenerate you because Aptitude is dumb. And now I'm waiting for you to get back to where Garurumon, which means Mega Seedramon probably has the easiest pathway to being our first uh, Mega. Because you can get to Metal Seedramon. And then I'm going to degenerate you down to, uh... I'm going to get you Metal Seedramon to get you Dodge Dance. And then we're going to do the degenerate into 99 Aptitude. And then eventually get you back to Giga Seedramon. Yes, that is the plan. So... With that in mind... You still need more Dragon Experience. Yeah, about a thousand. Okay. But you got five more levels to go, so we got time on that. You just gotta get to 36. You're probably gonna have some trouble with the attack. Alright, it's all coming back. Sting on here just has to get to level 30. I do want to go over here and check for, uh... Whatchamacallit. Farm goods. Let's see here. Do you have the thing that can, uh, potentially give me a boost in aptitude? Is that a thing which you possess? No, I think it's something like the Digimonpedia, but it's like a stronger form of it. I think. I'm gonna go ahead and buy the trampoline and the study desk for later. While they're here. Because I have the money for it, mainly. And I don't think I want any of this other stuff. Belt machine is tempting, but I don't think we really need it. Press yes, indeed, amigo. Just a second, I need to look at something. Game sounds suspiciously low to me. But I tested the audio before, and it sounded fine in the audio. It's just quiet to my headset for some reason, which is very strange. I thought I might have just thought of a way to fix it, but I didn't. Oh, well, anyways. I can still hear the music. It's just very quiet for me, but the audio should be the normal balance for you guys, hopefully. We'll see how that goes. Let's talk to the old man, because I don't think I've done that in a minute. Uh, over 7,000 points. Oh, we need 11,000. Okay, so. Oh, yeah, it's the bird sword. And I have a bird, so I want it. I want it dearly. I have just woken up, in case you can hear it in my voice, so you know why. Our next main mission, I think we have to go talk to Baihumon, but I kind of want to do a... We should probably go get the scan data for Tapirmon, because we're going to have to do that at some point. At some point, that's going to have to be done, so I guess we may as well just do it right now, you know? I'm pretty sure Tapiramon only spawns at the very back of uh, Task Mountain or whatever it's called. Training Peak. It's like Task Canyon or something. No, Task Canyon is another area later in this game, maybe? I can never remember. There's a second mountainy area that looks a lot like this one later in the game. Dawn and Dusk have it, too. It has both of them. I can just never remember. Is this even, like, worth my time to kill these fools? Probably not, but I'm gonna. Experience is experience, I guess, you know? Better to have it than to not. Also, if I didn't get the runaway in the first attempt, then it would be more worth my time just to kill them, so. We will be getting Kongomon very, very shortly. Curse you, wild Digimon. I wish I had repels or something similar. Sadly, Dawn and Dust never came up with an invention like that. Nor did Digimon World DS. Thankfully, though, Cyber Sleuth did. Which then carried on into Hacker's Memory, and I hope stays in all of the story games from now on. Or at least something similar to it. Stupid Tokomon. They're just lining up to die. Like the, uh, what's that uh, story? Like the lemmings or whatever? One jumps off the edge of a mountain and all the others follow him off the edge. What foolish creatures. Tokomon, at one point you gotta learn that it's not smart to challenge the bunch of champions and ultimates you see walking by. Even with Aquilamon, I, I understand you were like, Big Brother, the giant red dragon is murdering our people. 
and asked him to come over here to help. But uh, watch this. He's just gonna he's just gonna die in two. Died to 69. Is there no better way to go? Why does Mega Seedramon have Razor Claws? He does not possess claws. I guess he's like... I mean, he's got the horn, so he's got something to cut with. You know, he's got the razor part, but... I don't think the claws really checks out. What do I know? I'm not a... I'm not a Digimon biologist. A Digimon marine biologist said that. Another Aquilomon. Who invited you? I have so much Tokemon scanned out of my work. Too much. No one man should have this much Tokemon. You really gonna dodge my Blaze Blast like that? You really gonna disrespect me in my own mountain? That's right, I own this mountain now. I've killed enough of the inhabitants to just call myself the conqueror of it. So if I remember right, we have to get all the way back to where Dark Taranamon used to be, where the boss area is. And Tapirmon has a chance of spawning there, and we have to run into five of them. Because we get 20% per spawn, if I remember correctly. Good damage, good damage. So five of them will get us 100%, and then we can do whatever his favorite quest is. And that'll be another of the 60 favorite quests knocked out. And we're not getting a ton of experience, but we're at least getting a little bit of experience on the way. Some is better than none. Gets us that much closer to Kongomon. Because it would be... I definitely don't have to degenerate Kongomon at all, because I'm going to be replacing him before long, so... That'll be another ultimate that we're guaranteed to have for a short while. When are you nerds gonna learn? This only brings you pain and suffering. That's all that awaits you by attacking my Digimon. They will slaughter you at every turn. Alright, well, you're dead. What a shock. And you're dead. What an even bigger shock. It's almost like that's happened every single time. You think they would learn. My boy Stingmon just needs 69 experience, and it'll be one level away. This area is always slightly bigger than I remember it being. Right over here is what we need. Do I look like I have time for you, Patamon? Or you, Aquilamon? I assure you I don't. This is just like the other setup that I always won, except one of the Pokemon did evolve into a Patamon, as if that's going to make a difference. I assure you it is not. Yeah, exactly. Digivolving into Patamon made the Pokemon slightly bigger, and it couldn't dodge the Blaze Blast like last time. What a shock. Alright, here we go. Tapirmon can spawn here, if I remember correctly. I hope I remember correctly. Because we have to get five of them to spawn. These are birds. They are not weird little... What the heck is Tapirmon based off of? Weird little goat pig things? I don't even know, man. They're freaks of nature. That's what they are. How dare you live my rock propeller? Do you know how hard it is to propel rocks? It's not easy. Yo, 1,500 experience away from another ultimate. I love it. Do I look like I have time for Digifarm reports? Because I assure you, I do not. Let's not stand right on the teleporter, by the way, so I don't accidentally press A on it. That would be bad. Tapirmon? Yo, there it is. He does spawn here. I thought so. And whenever he spawns, he just spawns all by his lonesome. Very sad. All right, that's one of five. Hopefully that wasn't a super rare spawn that I just got lucky on. If we could just get a Tapirmon to spawn like every fight, this would be easy. I'm pretty sure it's guaranteed not to be a Tapirmon unless the game starts by loading the middle Digimon, because it's always just Tapirmon in the middle by himself. All of these poor Kodemon just lining up to the slaughter. 
I'm not getting lo I have words. I'm not getting many level ups because we're getting so little experience. So I'm trying not to use too much MP. Save it for when I have to like uh, hit a Quilamon and stuff like that. They all just fall like dominoes. Oh, well, Growlmon is actually about to level up. Beautiful. One step closer to War Growlmon. What do we got here? Tapirmon? Let's go. Yeah, dude, every other fight, just give me a Tapirmon. I'll take those I'll take those numbers. I will gladly work under that assumption. Because that means we'll get it in a pretty quick time. Pretty quick indeed. I wish that past me had taken the time to get, like, at least one or two Tapirmon to spawn last time. The last time I was here, because I've come here twice. Once to fight Black Algamon, once to fight Dark Tyranimon. Both of those times, if I had just gotten a Tapirmon or two to spawn. Well, that's not entirely true, because back then I was, like, lower level Tamer, so I wouldn't have gotten as much scan data, so it wouldn't have been as potent. Whatever. Too bad I'm not Gold Tamer already, then we'd get, like, 25 experience. We'd only have to find four of them. One extra to Pyramon isn't that hard, hopefully. I should just have Graumon start unloading with MP moves because he evolves in like one or two more fights. Or it doesn't evolve, but he levels up. All right, well, game, you've disrespected me and my family by uh, not spawning into Pyramon upon my second fight because you had been doing so until this moment. I am very disappointed and I'd like a refund. So please give me my money back. They're all dead. That's what happens. Does Grandmon have to get to 35 to Digivolve, but he's going to need like a crap ton of attack that he's definitely not going to have in time? I have to put him in the farm for a short while, probably. Stop not spawning to Pyramon. What on earth is this battle layout? Why are you guys on opposite ends of the universe? I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. All right, you can, I can just like normal attack two or three times. Maybe? Reflective ice. That seems worthless. We have water blast now. We don't have ice blast anymore. It's a good thing I still have instant freezer then, isn't it? Thank you, weapon attacks. HP ROM T, that sounds useful. Come on, come on, come on, come on. This is not gonna be a Tapirmon again. Dang it! I used up all of my luck on the first two Tapirmon. Uh, I'm gonna run because I'll either get away with Groudmon or Stigmon, or I'll kill them all with Water Blast on uh, Mega Siegemon, but they're, they let me run. I was going to say, they're dead, but that's the opposite of it. They're free to live now, because I ran away. Come on, give me the thing. Give me the thing. This is not going to be a Tapirmon again. Uh, I got so lucky, and now I'm so unlucky. What else is new? Part of me is contemplating just leaving and then coming back later. But that would be really annoying, because uh, then I'd have to walk through all of Training Peak again because the Tapirmon only spawn here, from what I can tell. At least it's the only place I've managed to get them to spawn. Why are you suddenly so against giving me Tapirmon? Oh, I needed, did I need, oh hey, Dr. Animon. Did I need Gatsumon still? I think I did, didn't I? He, I need Gatsumon for one of the, um, one of the favor quests, but I only had 80% of his scan data or something. Now I've got 100. It's good to see Dr. Animon is as bulky as always. Get metallic bald, son. Unfortunately, as cool as he is, Dr. Animon is a dead end Digivolution in this game. It's very unfortunate that there are a lot of dead end Digivolutions in this game because of how they made it. Another reason Dawn and Dusk are better because they have way less dead end Digivolutions, and a handful of their dead end Digivolutions can DNA Digivolve into Megas and whatnot, so it kind of makes up for it. Come on, your boy only needs like three more to Pyramon. Help a guy out. 
just help a guy out. You know you wanna. I'm gonna kill all of you because there are two champions and that's experience. Easy murders. Banana. This entire episode is just gonna be me trying to get to Pyramon to show up. We do what we must. At least we got the Gatsumon scan data, which I may or may not need. Dark Trainamon, I don't have time for you. You're too bulky, it takes up too much of my time. In fact, I'm gonna I'm just gonna flee. See you later, suckers. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, still no Tapiramon. I can tell every time we load up and the screen is too far to the left that it's not going to give me one. What is the spawn rate on Tapiramon? How did I get two of them so early? What happened to our agreement, video game? I agreed that I would take the every other fight as Tapiramon without complaining at all. I don't think I said those exact words, but it was understood. I was like cool with that arrangement. I was not cool with this arrangement of never seeing Tapiramon ever again. I don't know where you got that idea from. But I very much am not a fan of it. So I'd appreciate it if you, you know, stop and just give me what I want. You kidding me? Are you kidding me? That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Come on, your boy just needs three more to peer on. Is that really so much to ask? <sighs> Talk to the left again. Do I have a hyperspeed button? I do. Perfect. It's gonna make things a little. Oh my goodness, it's very janky. But. Oh, to Pyramon? All I'm gonna say is, the second I started using hyperspeed, I got what I wanted. That's all I'm gonna say. I think that sentence uh, speaks for itself very well. Alright, come on. Your boy needs two more to Pyramon. Two more to Pyramon. Hyperspeed through all this. We've seen it enough. I don't like to hyperspeed in games unless something very boring is happening. No, I don't have time for this, Calamon. I'm very busy breaking the physics of the universe. This is, again, not going to be a Tapiramon. It's a bunch of Kodaimon just hanging out, going on their school trip. I don't want to interrupt. Continue continue on your way, children. Go learn about the history of this mountain or something. Are you kidding me? If he gets back to Graumon, you're dead. That's what I thought. If that had gotten back to Graumon, I would have thrown out a blaze blast on those fools. See, the older Digimon have more sense. They're like, oh, no, nah, this dude will destroy me. Yo, one more to Pyramon. Hyperspeeding saves the day yet again. What else is new? Your boy just needs one more. Come on, one more, one more, one more, one more. Hit me with that sick one more to Pyramon. You know you want to, video game. You know you do. Stop failing at fleeing. Please successfully. Thank you. Come on, come on, come on, come on. This is not a Tapiramon. This is once again the small school of Kodaimon going on their school trip. Because Digimon have schools now. I have spoken into existence. Ah, oh, come on. We're so close. It's also good to get some hyperspeed out to get closer to that 30 hour play time. So we can get to Varadoramon when the time comes. He will probably be the only Digimon that we use in this. There are a couple of Digimon that need that 30 hours playtime modifier. I know Monzaemon is one of them, but Vardoramon is probably the only one we'll have to worry about with that modifier. Unless there's a favorite quest mon we have to get that needs it. The game is so janky when it's on hyperspeed. Come on, come on. Thank you. Make sure I don't accidentally press A on this thing. Apparently, like, Tapiramons just come in twos. You find two of them, like, fairly side by side, quick, quickly after one and the other. 
but then when you need that third one, after you, after you get your first pair or your second pair, it's like, well, you gotta wait for the next pair to show up, and that'll be a while. I am not a fan. Are you kidding me with this? That's what I thought. Stupid overgrown chickens. Who do I have to sacrifice to get a fifth to Pyramon up in here? I've already sacrificed some of the video quality by how janky it is when hyperspeeding. Can you really ask any more of me? By the way, I'm not going to be using hyperspeed in, like, any scenario other than something like this. There we go, where it's just taking forever to get something to spawn. This is, like, the only time I'd use hyperspeed. I don't like using hyperspeed in my playthroughs, typically. But I think we can all agree that it was a good idea to use it there to get through this quicker, because that was basically a whole video of getting to Pyramon. 